Drawing a face that shows emotions is one of the best things you can do to make your characters come to life. But how, man? How? It seems so complex. Oh, fret not, my friend. That's what I used to think as well, you know, when I was starting to do this thing until I started using the emoji expressions method for drawing expressions. Emoji? Yeah. Why emoji? The face. The face has so many moving parts in it that determines the expression of it. You've got the eyes, the mouth, the jaws, the eyebrows, the nose, the cheeks and the mouth. I think you've already said that. I know. All of these things come together to form an expression. And man, it can get confusing at times to understand and draw all these expressions. So one day I was just sitting and looking for a way to simplify this. And it came to me in form of a WhatsApp message. Expressions made simple. According to a dude named Parito, 20% of your efforts will bring 80% of the results. So I was asking myself, what 20% of the face brings 80% of its expression? And the answer was pretty simple. It's just the eyes and the mouth. Yeah, the eyes and the mouth, along with the eyebrows, of course, if drawn well, expresses 80% of the core emotions that you want. That's why emojis, despite having just the standard round face and an eyes and a mouth, can pretty much express all the emotions that you want. So my friend, if you capture just the eyes and the mouth right, you can capture pretty much all of the expression. Like for example, I've captured 90% of the expression of this guy simply just by getting the eyes and the mouth right. And then I see how the other parts of the face, such as the eyebrows, the nose, the cheeks, and the jaw react to the shape of the eyes and the mouth and draw the remainder of the face like this. And if you just do this, you get the expression. Wow, this is pretty nice. So how do you apply this to draw a cartoony face expression? All right, how do you apply this? The core thing I keep in mind when I'm drawing an expression is minimalism and simplicity. The first step I try to do when I'm drawing an expression is to simply understand it. In order to understand the expression, I need to observe. Observe the expression. And how do you observe the expression? Ooh, I know. You get a friend, ask them to add to your expression, and you observe it. Or you can just use a mirror. I often try to act out the expression I'm trying to draw in a mirror. But to be honest, I don't actually use a mirror mirror. I mean, come on, we live in the 21st century. I just use the front facing camera of my phone and see what the expression is like. At this stage, I'm just trying to observe two things. One, what is the shape slash position of the eyes? And two, what is the shape slash position of the mouth? I then simplify it using the principle of simplicity. I mean, you can obviously draw these things as these complex shapes and forms, which is not the kind of style that I'm going for. We're, we're cartooning right here. So what I do is take these things, simplify it from this to this. And also, at all times, I use tons and tons and tons of references from Pinterest to gain an understanding of the different kinds of expressions I can draw. So folksies, always follow the Arab rule. What is that? It's all Always use references. Bro, gotta, I gotta add that, you know. Step two is to draw simply. The core aspect of this step is to draw the most simplest version of the expression by capturing three things. The eyes, the mouth, and the face shape. The second thing I do is understand the face shape. Every individual has a different face shape. It either has a square, or a round, or a diamond, or a triangle, or an oval, or a star. All right, buddy, nobody has a star face. Chill now. All I need is an approximate face shape so I can simplify it and draw it. So if I just get these two things right, I have now captured 90% of the expressions. So I've gotten the shape of the eyes and the mouth done right now. This is the part where you sort of go ahead and make sure you've gotten everything right. For example, right here, just me making a little minuscule change as reducing the bottom eye gives the vibe of that expression much more compared to just me sort of having more space in that area. So this is what we call like getting the shape right. See, look at that. Just adjusting that is giving such a more creepier American Psycho killer look. Now, if I just go ahead and simply add the eyebrows, right? See, right here and right here, which is basically I'm getting the angle of the eyebrows right, like angle meaning this is one angle, this is another angle, this is another angle. See, you just need to get that angle right. And also the position of things right. For example, if I change the eyebrow from this place 
to just this place, see, the difference it makes, right? So that's exactly what you're doing right now. Getting the things simplified, getting the position and the shapes right for the expression. So all you need to get done in this phase is to lock in all the simplest version of the expression. In fact, you can even stop here, forget the face shape and draw the eyes and the mouth on a round shape. If you're just starting to learn expressions as a beginner, just practicing this on a round shape, drawing different kinds of expressions in that shape, is gonna be a killer exercise and also it's extremely fun. This is the emoji expression method, sort of practicing right here and starting right here and understanding the core essence of how expression works. In case you want a guided printable workbook where you can do this, download the guidebook from the Drawing Camp Library. Links down below in the description. With that, we're on to our final and last step, which is basically understanding that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So here's what I do in this phase. We have drawn the face shape, we've drawn the eyes and the mouth. Now, basically, there are other key four features on the face that reacts to these two key features that we have already drawn. For example, the eyes affect the eyebrows and the cheek. The eyebrows can go up and down and slightly to the left and right, and the cheeks also goes up and down and slightly to the left and right. And then the mouth affects the nose and the jaw. And also the jaw goes up and right mostly and a little bit to the left and right. You know, not, not much of movements in any of these things other than just going up and right. And the nose, again, up and right. When you open your eyes wide, the eyebrows go up, but it can come down unless you're angry. In that case, a center of your eyebrows can come down. For example, in this case, this guy is sort of opening his eyes wide and his eyebrow is going up even further up. So therefore, this thing possibly goes even more up. And then you ask yourself, what happens from here when the eyebrows go all the way up? What happens? You get a bit of wrinkles right here. So you get that. And then what happens when someone opens their eye this much, the cheek gets compressed right here. So got a cheek that is slightly compressed at the bottom of the eye. What happens when someone smiles? The bottom of the cheek also gets compressed. So you got a wrinkle that forms along this area. When someone opens their mouth like this, the jaw goes down. It goes from here to here. So then that means this one opens up even more. And what happens to the nose when one part of the face is sort of pulling up and then one part of the face is sort of pulling down. It just, just gets stretched. And voila, all I'm trying to do here is this, trying to see how these four key elements, the eyebrows, the nose, the cheek, and the jaw react to the eyes and the mouth. These four elements, along with the two other core elements that we talked about, together is what I call the six E's of the face. So these six elements, together in different combinations, give birth to different kinds of facial expressions. And the coolest part, you don't even have to memorize any of these expressions. All you need to do is act out the expression observe by drawing and draw basically using the steps that we mentioned. Okay, got a question. We have drawn the expression from the front angle. How do you draw it in like in a head that's slightly turned to the left or right or whatever? Ah, all right. So this is where the understanding of the basic structure of the head really helps. All you need to do is treat these expressions that we've drawn in the front angle like a mask, like this. And then you take that mask and apply it on top of a head structure that is drawn in a different angle. Now, I've got a full guide on head anatomy along with a bunch of other guides on my drawing camp library. So links down below, check that out. That will help you how to draw the heads in different structures. So, folksies, here's the actionable summary of this entire episode. You can draw any expression you want if you know how to draw a simple emoji. You start out by drawing the simple expressions on a round face and by simplifying the shape of the mouth and the eyes. And then add the jaw and the face shape to get different faces and different expressions. And finally, 
learn a little bit about the basic structure of the head if you want to draw complex expressions of different heads in different angles in different ways in different styles that's all folks now you can just draw whatever expression you want yay i can draw different kinds of expressions on my face yes yes you can you weirdo guy bye by the way download the guidebook from the drawing camp library links down below in the description